A friend asked me to make cream of mushroom soup, which I've never made before. I know the Campbell's canned cream of mushroom soup. I grew up with that. My mom used to use it as the base for her beef stroganoff. <laughs> Who knew? As kids, we ate it. We liked it. But today, I want to make homemade cream of mushroom soup. So let's get started. First thing I need to do is slice my mushrooms. You want them thinly sliced. I actually have a pound and a half total of mushrooms. That's about 680 grams. I have one pound of creminis and then I have, that's 450 grams, and then I have a half pound, 230 grams of shiitake mushrooms. And they're all sliced except for these last two. There's my mushrooms. I melted four tablespoons of butter in this stock pot or Dutch oven over medium heat. I have here one yellow onion, diced. Cook until tender and translucent, five to six minutes. While the onions were cooking, I minced three cloves of garlic. Add these to the pot and cook for about one minute. Season with some freshly ground black pepper and a pinch of salt. I'm going to adjust for salt later. Now I can add the mushrooms. These are the creminis and these are the shiitakes. I'm going to cook these over medium heat until they are tender and lightly browned, however long that takes. These have been cooking for about eight minutes. I had to first boil off the moisture that came out of the mushrooms, but that was fine. It deglazed by pan forming. These mushrooms are just starting to brown a little. The mushrooms are beginning to brown nicely. So I am going to add one half cup, 120 milliliters of white wine. You can use vermouth. And I'm going to use that to deglaze the pan again. And I'm going to reduce that liquid by half or more. I have four and a half cups or about one liter of my homemade chicken stock. You can use the broth sold in the stores. And then I have one cup, 237 milliliters of heavy cream or whipping cream. Blend that together. I'm also going to add about half a teaspoon of dried thyme. Then bring the pot to a boil. My soup is almost coming to a boil. I'm going to use my infamous red handle tasting spoon to check for salt. My chicken stock is unsalted, so that definitely needs some salt. My soup is now coming to the boil. I have two tablespoons of cornstarch that I mixed with one quarter cup, 60 milliliters of cold water. This won't thicken the soup much. If you like a thicker soup, double the cornstarch. I'm going to simmer the soup now about two minutes. This has been simmering for two minutes now. I'm turning off the heat and I'm covering this pan for about half an hour, maybe longer, to let those flavors blend. I'm ready to spoon up some soup for myself. Maybe a little bit more. And then a spoon. Could dress that up a little bit with some chopped fresh parsley, just for add a little more color. And is it okay to use oyster crackers in cream of mushroom soup? Oh, why not? We're just coming up on noon time. This has been resting for about an hour actually. 
soup tastes better if you let the flavors come together a little bit. Oh, that's nice. Nice, delicate broth. Get some mushrooms in there. That is good. So excuse me, I'm going to go have my lunch of homemade cream of mushroom soup.